Hey everyone, Brian and Jeff with Workshop Addict, and today we're going to take a look at Hitachi's C12 RSH2 12 inch sliding compound miter saw. Now this unit has a 15 amp motor and they've made it so you can change the brushes in this motor very easily. Now this is an upgrade or this is a new model that is replacing an old model that was very well loved because it had some uh, micro adjustments for bevel in miter. This saw doesn't have it, but we're not going to get into comparing this saw to the other one. We're going to go through this saw, show you exactly how it is in a normal review, and just go through it. You can make your own decisions from there. You know, Brian, it's a really nice ergonomic saw, good power behind it, and it's really space saving. It's small, compact, it is zero clearance, it takes up a little bit of room there, but it's a very nice saw. Yeah, it is, and I think it's well worth taking a look at. Uh, let's take a walk around the saw and show you what they did. Starting at the front of the saw, it's a little more ergonomic with a vertical handle and no safety switch on the trigger. Going to the guard, I don't really care for guards anyways, but they do come in handy for as far as safety. But this one makes it a little difficult because you cannot see through the guard itself to line up your blade. But all in all, the guard works nice. First thing we did with this saw was check for a 90 degree cut from the factory. Uh, we did that on a piece of oak and it came out perfect. We then started to do some different 45 degree cuts and check those to make sure that they're good. The mitering movement on this saw is excellent. It miters to the right to 57 degrees and it has detents at 45, 31.6, 22 and a half, 15 and zero. It'll miter to the left to 45 degrees, and then it has the same detents at 31 and a half, or 0.6, 22 and a half, 15 and zero. To simply lock it in place, you just screw in this handle and it will stay anywhere that you set it. Moving around to the back of the saw where we do our bevels, simply loosen it up, roll it to the left, 45 degrees, bring it back to the center, Pull this knob and it'll do the same to the right. On both sides you have a 45 degree stop which is adjustable to make things much easier. We found that the handle on the back is a little awkward. It actually feels like it's left handed versus right handed. But I guess after using it for a while you get used to it. Hitachi designed this saw so if it was on your workbench it would be a zero clearance saw. So you don't have the slide moving backwards uh, giving you less room. The slide is fixed and the saw moves forward and backwards on this fixed slide. Very innovative design, it works well and it is very solid. The laser on this saw is a simple on off switch on the back of the handle. It's a single line laser which allows you to cut either right or left side of the blade. You can simply adjust it with this knob down on the bottom. One drawback on it, as you start to bring the saw down, the line will disappear on you. On the left side of the saw is your adjustable depth stop. It does not swing out of the way, so you'll have to adjust it for each cut. You also have a dust bag in the back that worked excellent while we were cutting. It collected a lot of the sawdust, but unfortunately our two inch shot back hose would not fit into this. Uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be an easy way to connect a dust collection system to this saw. The fences on this saw are five and an eighth inches tall, which makes it easier if you like to cut crown molding or baseboard molding against the fence. It gives you a little more stability. They move very easily. Unfortunately, the right fence has to be removed if you bevel all the way to the right, which it just slides right off. The saw spins at 4,000 RPM no load speed. It has a one inch arbor and it has a max cross cut capacity of 12 and a quarter inches wide at zero degrees. If you're at 45 degrees doing a miter, it has a max width of eight and five eighths inch. At the end of the day to put this saw into transport mode, simply slide the head back, tighten down the screw, push your head down, put in the lock pin, slide your miter to the side, and you're done. Overall, we thought this saw was a nice, powerful, and ergonomic saw. Maybe its biggest drawback was probably the bevel adjustment. I agree. That was the only drawback that I didn't really care for on a saw. 
it, you had to reach around to the back and it always felt like you were going the wrong way trying to loosen it up to make your adjustments. In being that this is a zero clearance saw or meant to be put up against the wall and they're saving you that room, having to reach around to the back of the saw to actually make the adjustment is going to be awkward if you... I think that's going to push you away from the wall a little bit to make it feel more comfortable for you. But it is a very stable saw. The laser, as you've seen that we have uh, in use, does not show all the way when you bring the head of the saw down. I don't see that as a big deal because the laser kind of gets you started mm -hmm. and then you use the saw blade to finish up, especially since it's a single line laser, you always want to double check what side of the blade you're on. Dust collection on this worked great. It would have been nice if we could have gotten a vacuum hooked up to this or have a nice uh, universal size so you could hook this up to dust collection in a shop since it is a zero clearance. It is a little bit wider. Uh, the fences were nice and adjusted well. Overall, I like the saw. I think its downside is probably going to be the bevel. Yeah, I think that's the only drawback on it. Other than that, and it doesn't have bevel detents. That was another thing that we came Which up with. makes it harder when you're trying to adjust it from the backside. Exactly. So if you're looking at this saw, still a nice saw, still a nice uh, powerful saw, very ergonomic, comfortable to use. Stop by Workshop Addict. We got a blog and a forum. We can talk about this tool a little bit more. Follow us on social media. We put things out there all the time. We answer your questions, have a lot of fun. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.